Fat Grandma here. It is Monday about 2 o'clock in the morning. I had a nap, so I'm awake again. <laughs> this happens a lot with me. Um, so if you haven't been here before, my name is Paula. I have a very small eBay store. Um, I'm kind of going through a process right now. I was doing videos every week talking about my solds, and then I would go into personal stuff or whatever. But I've decided to kind of mix things up a little bit just because I don't know how much value there is in sharing solds as the only thing that I talk about because, you know, the chances of somebody else selling the same thing I've sold, you know, it depends on what part of the country you live in, if you're picking up the same stuff, if you're finding the same things. Clothes, yes, that could probably, you know, go across the entire country. Um, and and maybe even to some other countries, you know, depending on the brand or whatever. But um, when it comes to the kind of things that I pick up, you know, which are usually like collectibles or they're um, occasionally an antique, uh, vintage usually, I mean, you know, it, it just depends. I'll... I'll sell just about anything um, as long as it's not huge and it doesn't weigh a ton and uh, and I'm interested in it to some degree. Now there are some things that I've sold that I got because I thought, oh, that might sell, you know, but not that I wasn't, you know, I wasn't interested in the item. So those things don't do well for me because I'm not interested in them. And you know, you have to, you have to like what you're doing, I think, to be good at it. Um, or at least to enjoy doing it, for sure, you know. So, because um, I noticed, you know, I mean, from the very beginning, if I'm if I'm excited about a particular item, it will get listed quickly, you know, because I'm excited about it. If it's something that I'm like, man, whatever, it'll sit for a while. I've had things, I've still got some things in a box back there that I have had for oh, a year and a half now that have not been listed because I don't think they're going to do very well and I'm not interested in them you know so um that that turquoise that little skinny turquoise box right there where my fingers pointing is a massager uh the brand name is sensual i got it in a in a box of crap that i bought you know and i haven't listed it. it's brand new everything's brand new that's in that box but i'm not interested in it so it'll get listed at some point um i should just do it and get it over with but I have other things that I'm more interested in that I pick up that I, they're getting preferential treatment you know so anyway um, the thing that I wanted to do at the very beginning of this just because it's something that I'm thinking about a lot I've been thinking about it a lot it's been kind of just in my head um, and then I'm gonna put a timestamp here if you want to skip to uh, stuff that has to do with reselling, you know, um, my video portion where I'm going to pick stuff up from the auction, or if I have any, I can't remember what footage I have to share with you guys. If I went to any stores or anything, that'll be in here, and I'll put a timestamp up here somewhere, you know, so you guys can skip past this part because um, I haven't done a video in 10 days and 10 or 12 days, it's maybe 12, and I've been distracted by everything that's going on around me personally and stuff that's going on out in the world, um, over in the Middle East mostly, you know, and, and uh, I wanted to learn more about the history of all of that, you know, be, I don't want to pick a side, you know, because what is my hair? I don't even know what's going on back here. Ugh, whatever. Anyway, um, I don't like to pick sides unless I have all of the information, you know. And um, I'm gonna, it's too bright. It's too bright. I don't know. This I have one light behind the, the camera so that you guys can kind of see me, you know, and it's glares on my glasses and drives me crazy. but it's still been over 100 degrees, so I have not taken the foam board off of the window, so I can't do this during the day and, and use sunlight. As soon as that comes down, 
I will try to do my videos with sunlight because it seems to be better. Um, anyway, I, I've read a lot of stuff. I probably, you know, I only have grazed the surface of all of the information that's out there that has to do with what's going on over in um, Jerusalem. And, excuse me, um, there is, it's so complex and, and so, I don't know how they're ever going to resolve any of it, you know, and I, I mean, they could if everybody would work together, but everybody's so against each other. And that's the one thing that I don't understand. Um, Christianity came out of Judaism. I mean, it's a direct it came directly from Judaism. Um, Muslims worship the same God that Christians do and that, and that the Jews do. They just all have a different name for it. You know, him, it, whatever. I, I don't, I'm not religious. You guys know that if you've, you know, no, if you know me at all, if you've watched any of my videos and I've grazed on the, you know, I don't get into this kind of stuff really in my videos um not because it's nobody's business but because well it is nobody's business but um i don't get into it because it's such a touchy subject and everybody's got their opinions and their own beliefs and i just you know i don't want to irritate anybody or hurt anyone's feelings or piss anyone off or whatever and so i just kind of stay away from topics that are um that are likely to start something, you know what I mean? Um, I'll usually leave those things to other people, but this whole thing that's going on over in Jerusalem, and, and I started, you know, and whatever I share with you guys, you know, go read for yourself, read your own stuff, because I could have some of my information wrong, um, but I've read more than one place. You know, I, I did did some digging, and I've been poking around, trying to get the information so that, I could see where the problem is coming from because that's really the crux of it is, you know, what's, why is all of this going on? And it's been going on for thousands of years, thousands. I mean, this isn't new, you know, this is stuff that's apparently, and, I, and this could be wrong, the Jews had that area 6,000 years ago, or somewhere around there, you know, and when I give out years, I'm not accurate. So, you know, it could be 5,000, could be 10,000. I don't know. But they had that area for them. That was where they all lived. And, um, and it has since then been taken over by the Romans, um, by the Crusaders. So Christianity, you know, the Christians, you know, the Crusaders took it over. Um, then by the Arabs and Muslims and, and so like everyone in their brother has been in control of that part of the world at some point. And then the Jews would get it back for a little bit and then somebody else would come and take it over. And then someone else would take it over. And, it, you know, it's all this fighting and everything that's going on. And, okay, now so-and-so controls that area, you know. And at some point back in the early 1900s, um, Britain took over that area, and then I think it was 1948, I could be wrong, that um, some stuff was signed with the UN or whoever, and they decided they were going to give a specific area to the Jews, Jerusalem, and it became the state of Jerusalem, I think. I Again, you know, I don't have all my facts exactly straight, but, you know, and so... The Palestinians who were living in that area have kind of been shoved out of that area and into another area, and they're not being treated well, and, you know, so they're pissed off about, you know, that, and, and rightly so, because for them, as people, they were living in that area for uh, hundreds of years, whatever, you know, and so for them that's their home you know and and then for some of the jews that were there 
already because there were Jews there, you know, and there were Palestinians there and there are Muslims there and there are Christians over there too. It's not just one or the other. There's a bunch of different religions over in that area. And the number or percentage has fluctuated depending on who was in control of the area and things have been destroyed and built back up and it's just, it's a mess. And so, you know, they decided to give Jerusalem statehood or whatever. I don't, I don't know how they do any of that over there, but, you know, they have, it's their own little area where the Jews can go and live and, you know, be where they originally were. However, anyone's traced all of that, I don't know. But um, anyway, but there were Palestinians living there and they were all forced out. And the area where they're having to live now is policed, or part of it anyway, part of it is policed by the, the, the people in charge of Jerusalem, Netanyahu or whatever his name is. I'm probably saying it wrong. I don't know. Anyway, I've watched videos from reporters from both viewpoints, you know, um, and that they need to. I don't know. This is why I'm, I'm not a religious person, because it seems to me like religion, and I'm and I'm talking about the people that are very hardcore in any religion are dangerous. They're dangerous people. The ones that are extreme, in you know, extreme Muslims, extreme Christians, extreme um, anything that's extreme. It seems to me like they there's there's more problems with it you know and there's hypocrisy and you know everybody thinks they're right and you know how do you know how do you know who's right i mean you don't you, you, there's no 100 percent guarantee for me anyway in my brain that tells me that the christians are right or that the muslims are right or that the jews are right or whoever you know it, and the thing is they all worship the same entity for the most part. I mean, the Catholics worship Mary instead of God or Jesus, which seems to me as an outsider kind of backwards, but whatever. Um, she didn't do, I mean, she gave birth to Jesus, but whatever. I mean, I, I don't get it. You know, why, why worship her? But okay. Um, you know, like I said, everybody's got their own thing. And so they all have their own way of believing. I mean, you know, the Jehovah's Witnesses, I, I don't know if there's is considered a Christian based religion. I think it is. Um, but they don't celebrate any holidays because of the fact, and I had a very good friend who was a, a Jehovah's Witness. And she never tried to force it down my throat. She never tried to talk me into going to church with her. She was a bad Jehovah's Witness, apparently, um, because they normally try to, you know, come on, come on, come on. They try to get everybody they can. She never did that with me, but she would answer all my questions. I could ask her questions all day long, and she would answer them for me because I was very curious about her religion. Why don't you guys celebrate anything? Well, because most of the holidays that we all celebrate have a lot of pagan symbolism and pagan um, rituals that are involved with the holiday. And there are reasons, they have reasons for not celebrating those holidays. And so I understood where she was coming from and why they choose to do things the way that they do. I don't agree with it, but I don't have to, you know, for her, to, she was a nice person. Um, you know, I, I had no issues with her at all. Got loose hairs, big surprise, I'm shedding. Um, anyway, so this whole thing over the Middle East, again, you know, I'm back to that. Now I've gone on for 15 minutes and I'm not getting anywhere, but I I can see both sides. And Hamas, and, and the, everybody can say, you know, the Palestinians, you know, chose Hamas to, to run the country. I don't think they knew what they were getting themselves into, or at least most of them, the, the regular people. I don't think they really understood who Hamas was and what they were going to do. Um, I think it would be like, you know, like the U.S. We've had some issues recently, uh, you know, in the recent past, not in the past couple of years, but before that, um, 
you know, with certain people doing things that really didn't benefit us. And, um, you know, they weren't terrorists, but it was still detrimental to the country as a whole, you know. And, um, and I think that they really need to, I don't know, Hamas needs to go. Um, Iran needs to stay out of it, you know, and I just, I don't know how they're ever going to get it resolved, you know, and the Palestinians that are living out, just outside of Jerusalem aren't, it's not just Palestinians that are living there. There's, there's Christians living there. There's, uh, you know, some people are Muslim, some people are Christians and everyone's getting along in, in that area um i don't know i don't know but this is what's been going on with me i i have been reading a lot and trying to figure out like exactly what happened over there and, and when did it start you know and it's been going on for a very 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 like an insanely long amount of time this back and forth and you know, the Jews losing their land and then getting it back and then losing it again and getting it back and partly getting it back. Some of them were still living there. You know, it, it's been going on for thousands of years, literally, you know. And so, yeah, I just, you know, so I've kind of had to stop watching the news because it was, um, you know, between everything going on here, and I'll get to that in a minute. And watching the news and, and trying to see what's going on over there and trying to learn about it. It was just too much. It was too much for me, you know, because I get uh, not emotional. I don't get emotional about things, but I feel a lot of things that are going on. If stuff's going on, um, it, it affects me, uh, you know, as far as my energy level and all, you know, how I how my brain's working and everything. So um, I'm, I'm too sensitive for my own good when it comes to that kind of stuff. So anyway, um, I have had, I don't even know how many sales since the last time I did a video. I'm, I'm opening a folder right now. I had to restart my computer. I could not get my microphone to work with my recording software. And so I was messing around with that for like 20 minutes before I even started recording. And now I've been talking for almost 20 minutes. Um, I think everybody needs to, just for your own knowledge and, you know, do some reading. And, and um, you know, it's interesting for sure to, to see the history of all of it. Um, but it, it might also help, you know, like there's some, Pal the Palestinians are not being treated well at all. And, um, you know, that's not right. I mean, they can't help that they were living there when the land was handed over to the Jews. I mean, you know, and, and there's entire areas in Jerusalem where there's just abandoned buildings everywhere because Palestinians were living there and they've left and they're not even allowed to go through some of these areas. There's some videos out there um, that you guys can watch where they've, you know, like people that are reporters and stuff have gone over uh, to to get the inside scoop, you know. Um, and it's pretty messed up. It's pretty messed up. I can see both sides, literally, you know. Um, I understand that, that, the, that the Jews believe that that area belongs to them and that they should be there and no one else should be, I guess. I don't, I don't think any piece of land on the face of the earth um, should be designated for one race or one religion. I, I think, I think that's when you have more problems, you know, um, because no one's mixing with anyone else. You're not going to learn anything about anyone else. If you just are on an Island by yourself with your own people all the time, and there's no one else around, how will you ever know? That would be so boring. You would never learn anything about anybody else, you know, how other people think and why they think the way they do. And, you know, like I said, I had the friend that was a Jehovah's Witness and I was very curious, you know, and I asked a lot of questions. She always answered them for me. 
Um, and we were real, very close, you know. We only lost touch because I divorced the idiot that I was married to. And um, we lived across the street from them, you know. And, I mean, our kids were around the same ages. And so she and I hung out with our kids. And they were little at the time, you know. But it was it was good to talk to someone else whose ideas or beliefs were vastly different from mine, you know. Um, it can't hurt anyone, I don't think, you know, to to explore other people's uh, beliefs and their traditions and, you know, why why would it be harmful? I don't understand. I, I really can't understand any of that. But, you know, I'm just me and what do I know? Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to see where my most recent... I've got so much video footage that I took in the car while I was driving. I need to go through and edit it all. And it's just, um, it takes so much time. You guys don't understand. Like, you know, when I start editing, it, I can spend, if it's a short video where I just talk about my souls or whatever, it might take an hour, hour and a half for me to edit that video. But if there's anything else involved or if I have a lot of sales, I can spend three, four, five, six hours editing, and um, and then you have to rewatch it to make sure that uh, the transitions. Because sometimes if I have transitions in, it will glitch, and the end result that I upload to YouTube will have an issue if I have not watched the entire video. So if it's a forty-minute video, I end up watching that video at least twice before I upload it to YouTube. Um, and if there's any glitches or anything, I have to re-export it and hope that it doesn't glitch. And so then I have to go back to that spot where I was having a problem and make sure that it's not glitching again, you know. Um, so it just takes a lot of time. And I just have not had a block of time to work on this to do a video for you guys. So, you know, and now we're at 23 minutes. You know what? This is going to be my video. This this is going to be my video that I'm going to upload right now. Then I will work on my, um, you know, ride with me in the car and do my solds in the next one, which probably will be within the next couple of days, I'm guessing. Um, till now, through today, I've had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I should have done this before. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20, like 25 sales, I think, since my last video. Somewhere around there. I don't know. I'm not counting exactly. I'm not going to torture you guys. But um, I, will, I will share what I've sold with you uh, in the next one. This, this is long enough. You know, I've talked long enough. And I just wanted you guys to know why you haven't seen a video that's related to my resale business. Or anything else for that matter you know me going out shopping or whatever you'll it, it's coming I you know I just I have to I have to have an entire afternoon or evening where I don't have anything else I need to do and uh, and then I can sit down and, and do the video you know do a video put one together um, things here at home and then I'm gonna cut this off because it's gonna be half an hour um, I'm now paying $300 a month in rent slash utilities, whatever you want to call it. That's, that's the new thing. So uh, money that I will have available to save is not going to be very much. Um, you know, and I am going to have to file bankruptcy. It's probably not going to be until January. I just, I want to wait until the year changes and... You know, then my taxes are clear for this year. Then I can start fresh with next year and deal with all of that. But um, because of the amount of rent that I'm that I'm paying now, um, there's just no way to handle any of the credit cards. I mean, I could pay off one of them, but then the rest of them are still going to be called. It just doesn't make any sense. I, you know, I just have to file bankruptcy be done with it and not have any credit cards and it's going to be that way for 
a long time probably even after the bankruptcy goes away i don't i don't really want to get myself in a situation where if my rent goes up i can't pay my bills you know what i mean i'm i've got, got to make sure i'm able to do that so you know and my ebay may my ebay store may go away during the period of time that i am going through the bankruptcy because i don't know how that's all going to be affected you know um i don't know if they can seize my uh, funds from from the eBay business while the bankruptcy is going on um, it would make it difficult to sell anything. So you know, my store may be on a hiatus for a while. I I have to find out. But um, anyway, that is it for this video. I'm sorry, it's nothing that you guys are used to seeing at all. But I just uh, wanted to, to tell you guys why I haven't been doing my normal thing. Um, I've had other things going on in my head and, you know, I'm distracted. Anyway, um, I will see you guys very soon with my video. And I said that when I did that short one a couple days ago, but I, I will have a video put together pretty soon. So, uh, this is just kind of hold you guys over and, and don't, you know, don't watch the whole thing. If it's stuff you don't want to hear, I guess too late. It's already been half an hour. All right. I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching, and I I, uh, I hope you guys have a great week. But again, I'm going to try and get a video edited, put together for you guys within the next two days. So um, that's it. Bye.